Intonation pitfall number 21 is not understanding the priority note. So one note out of the two is your priority for tuning to that note. So usually it's the lower note. Sometimes it's the upper note if it's an open string. So in that example, my A is the lower note, and I can tune up to my open A. The next third is a G on the bottom, so I can check open string. So now we have this open A and the F sharp, and the next one is a low A, but I'm not going to move that F sharp. So the, open, the low A is determined by that F sharp. And in one of my earlier intonation pitfalls, I talk about implied double stops, which means when we're playing notes across the string, but they're not held, but we need to practice them for intonation as though they were sustained. So if the same passage was written I would want to practice it as solid. And then when we get into chords with three and four notes it can be even more complicated in terms of really deciding what is the priority note for establishing the intonation. So we always want to search for open strings or notes that match open strings whenever we can. I have a couple more in this intonation pitfall series and they're all on my YouTube in their own playlist, intonation pitfalls. Let me know if you have any questions.